knock knock open up the door it's sorry what the fuck they have the rapping skills yeah, go, 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 get no. muted. When are you gonna drop your <laughs> fire mixtape? Greetings everyone, my name is Xmedia and welcome to my trading series. Hey everyone, today is the first day since I can finally get back to the original trading schedule and uh, start uploading more videos again. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, before I will talk about my first trade, if you are new to my channel and my trading series in general, I've decided to switch constantly between CSGO and TF2 with my items. Now the only reason behind it is uh, basically easy profit. Uh, I could make separate CSGO and TF2 trading series, but honestly I'm going to resell all my CSGO stuff uh, very soon and I will end up with uh, TF2 unusuals anyways. So yeah, uh, in the first trade I've bought an M9 Urban Mast for only 42 keys spear. Now, average price on this knife is about 62 keys, so I made quite a lot of profit, uh, so really good trade after all. Considering normal quick sell price uh, on CSGO items is basically paying 85% of the item in keys. And as far as my math is correct, 85% uh, from 62 should be like 50, 52 keys. And I bought it for 42 keys, so 10 keys less than normal quick sell price, so definitely quite a lot of profit. So in the next trade I bought an M9 Bayonet Stained for 43 keys spear. And this trade isn't that good as the first one, mainly because M9 Bayonet Stained is only like 50 keys spear. Uh, the average price is uh, 50 keys spear, but uh, still I made about 7 keys profit at least. Also, there is one more thing I wanted to mention. When I'm dealing with CSGO items, I'm getting way more offers than in TF2. Just for the record, uh, within 5 minutes, I put both of my knives on the CSGO lounge. Immediately, I got at least 3 pending trade offers, so that's pretty insane. I'm pretty used to TF2 offers, and I'm usually waiting for like 1 week to get a single offer sometimes, so yeah. Uh, that's what I would like uh, about CSGO more uh, than in TF2. Because, uh, my, in my opinion, it's very easier to get trades done when dealing with CSGO items than in TF2. So yeah, uh, one of the offers I received was a Butterfly Knife Blue Steel Minimal Wear for my M9 Urban Mask plus Freaky Spear. And I've added this guy and I tried to negotiate with him. And after like 2 minutes uh, we made an agreement of him doing one, um, basically one by one uh, for my knife. Uh, and I managed, um, managed to talk him over and uh, so he could add something more on his side. So he added some sweets, it's not much at the end, it, I think it was like one euro, which is not even a, one half of a key, but yeah, still something, I guess. Um, in the next rate, I sold some of my game gifts. Probably none of you remember me buying these, but I bought them really long time ago, and I'm, when I say really long time ago, I mean like one plus uh, year ago. And I bought them with intention of reselling them later for some profit. I quick bought them, I didn't buy them for full price, I bought them very uh, for very very reasonable amount and I thought I could probably resell them for more. Now I didn't get a single offer for them but yeah I decided to sell them to scrap.tf uh, for free keys and 1.66 certified I think and I could maybe get about 5 keys in total for all these but uh, I know, I, I say this to everyone, that you should be patient and all that stuff, but I couldn't sell these games for over a year now. And I didn't even get a single offer on them so far, so yeah, this is the only reason I quick sold them into the scrap.tf, so oh yeah. I also sold some of my more crappy items uh, to scrap.tf, such as weapons, uh, so I could get metal. Now, and by the way, I sold one of my TF2 keys on market so I can buy trading cards, so I can finally reach level 30 on my Steam account, so it looks fancy. And I know that this wasn't the best idea, uh, but I, I could get maybe a quick sell with all the keys I have, and I literally couldn't wait for it, so yeah. Right at this moment I'm left with 4 CSGO keys, 2 TF2 keys and some metal. Uh, my 2 knives and all my TF2 unusuals. However guys, I'm afraid this is all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to make more of these trading series. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to subscribe and all that stuff. And as always, see you guys until the next one.